So what did you say you have going on with the, the, the kind of dual fuel tank deal in this? You have another <coughs> pump in here. See got the a, other one? It's got a big tank. See, <coughs> before we put this motor in the nitrous car, so we used the main tank and used nitrous pumps. So we had separate fuel systems for engine and nitrous. We used a nitrous pump and plumbed it up to that front tank. So that way we could just fill it from here gotcha. and get it up there. That's pretty cool. It looks like you can hold a ton of fuel on that. How many gallons can you hold? I think it was roughly a 15 gallon tank. Okay. The and then I think up there, it, it was built for five up there, but I think it's more like three. Okay. So roughly anywhere 16 gallons, 17, 18, something. So you got an electric pump here. You got a mechanical pump. Started off life as a Hall Tech car. Now it's got Holly Dominator in it. But it's not every day you see a methanol car with legit street tags. And insurance and uh, all of the stuff that actually allows you to really drive it on the street. Did you buy this thing new? No. What year is it? 75. Oh, I guess you said you got it, what, in the 80s? Yeah, I had it in the 80s. I got it probably around 82, 83. How many different like motors and combos and setups and stuff have you had in it? I got it, it had a 327 and a 331 with bikes right. on it. From decent. And then uh, I built a 377 for it put that in there and got it into the mid tens with it and a hundred and fifty horse shot of nitrous on it. And then it sat and it disappeared. <laughs> and then probably about eight years ago when he decided he wanted to do it, it reappeared. It had a four oh six in it then. That's awesome. And, uh, one of them events with nitrous we got it down to like nine fourteen, I think is what it was. One MIR. That side looks a little easier than this side. Oh yeah, I think he talked about going through the fender well or through the uh, wheel well on that side. Okay, I was gonna say it almost damn near looks like you have to do it from underneath. Yeah. You can see him, but yeah, <laughs> you can see him, but you can't do much yeah, with your him. Yeah, hand, hands aren't gonna fit down there. Or at least I can do is lend a hand and start getting some of it torn apart. Awesome, you got You'll probably see it right down there. Yep. Right out the open there. Now I will ask you how you get this uh, number seven out. <laughs> I don't know, I have to scope it out. Because it's <laughs> over here by the, uh, they packed up right against the uh, steering jack. Is it? Right. Yeah. I, I, I probably won't be able to get my socket in there. Probably a wrench. Yeah. Good thing it's not a nitrous car anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, then it would have probably spent a little more time making sure the bump ring didn't get there. <laughs> At least I knew that'd be, that'd be one thing. It's like, I gotta work on this piece of shit. I gotta make it nice. <laughs> the old chase.
sort of feels like you just did this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a little bit of time, but then you get proficient. I don't know how hey, efficient you know you're going to get on that other side. Uh, the other side, well, yeah, we got to do some you stuff. You can right actually, there. if you get underneath of it, yeah. you can get pretty much, uh, okay. so pretty much all of them. If we decide to pull that side out again, we can jack it up. But That'll make things a lot easier. At least to a point, you know. Yeah, yeah I don't want to mess with the thing Yeah. Well, you made your goal, so. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably still a decent amount left in it. Uh, it was, it was After you get all this sorted out, there shouldn't really be a need to do it every single, every single time. Yeah. It's probably not a bad idea just to pull a couple check them. Yeah, exactly. Because as weather conditions change, you know, the tuna's going to do some shit. A little bit of timing on that one. Uh, you have any like uh, hopes or dreams as far as what you plan on running? You're on quarter or eight? Eight. If I got in a high fours with it, I'd be happy. I don't think you're gonna need a little more horsepower. I don't know. Well, it depends on what it weighs. It's 30. Well, we took some weight out. 32 something. 3250 with me in it last time we were playing. Better than I was expecting. Yeah. I opened the door. I figured it was going to be 7,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the door is the heaviest door I've opened in a long time. The only thing fiberglass on is that hood. Mm. That one's still a little warm. You want a fan on? Yeah, sure. Nice. Add it with technology. Do that.
Did the tensioner like loosen itself up? No, I like his belt stretch. Damn, that's a lot of stretch.